<laughs> oh, yeah, we're going. Right, OK. Determine whether, number three, determine whether the lines whose equations are, given thusly, are parallel, intersect, or are skew. Right. Um, firstly, uh, we're not really used to the way it's written like this. So you might have liked to rewrite them I did as being R is, well, we've, we've got 1, 0, 3. Because we need to identify, don't we, the, uh, the position bit and the direction bit of our line. So we get that first 1, 0, 3, and then we've got 2, minus 1, 5. So that's, that's a good start point to try and actually get what the lines were. The other line has a minus 1, plus 5, and 2, plus mu times. There's 1 mu there, minus 1 there, minus 5 there. So that I feel a bit happier now that I can see the lines in the way that I'm a bit more familiar. Um, let's get that parallel bit out of the way first, because the question did, did state, check whether they're parallel. So we need to do that. And that means we need to look at the direction part of these vector equations, which are the bits after the parameters. And we need to make, sh make some clear statement that shows that these aren't parallel lines. And that would be 2 minus 1, 5 does not equal some constant times 1 minus 1 minus 5. That's all we need to state to show that we've considered the direction bits and shown that it doesn't work. Um, therefore, not parallel. Great. We've got that out of the way. That's one of our six marks dealt with. I didn't get any marks in the program. Well, <laughs> you're right, I think you don't have a mark. Great. So, um, we now need to assess whether they actually intersect or not. So if they intersect, then we can set up our three equations, our i, j, and k equations. So we'd have uh, 1 plus 2 lambda is minus 1 plus mu. We'd have minus lambda is 5 minus mu. And 3 plus lambda, 5 lambda, sorry, is... 2 minus 5 mu. So we've got to work with these equations. Let's call them equations 1, 2, and 3. And to remember, it's, it's neatest for a bit to work with a pair of the equations first, find values of lambda and mu, and then check them in the third one. So I'm going to say equation 2 tells me that lambda is mu minus 5 if I divide through by minus 1. So I'm going to sub lambda in equation 1 to get 1 plus 2 lots of mu minus 5 is minus 1 plus mu. We then get, what does this give us? 2 mu, there's a minus 10, it's a 1, so that's minus 9, it's minus 1 plus mu. So we've got mu equals 8 out of that. And just be careful because there are one or two people who made mistakes in this part, just involving you know, simple linear equation rearrangements. At least one person got nine out of this equation by forgetting the minus one that was in there. Um, we now need to, to do something with that. Well, that would give us a value of lambda being eight minus by, so lambda is three. We now need to check, are these, are these values consistent with the third equation? If they are, then they intersect. If they're not, then they skew. So in equation three, if mu equals eight, we would have three plus five lambda is two minus 40. Five times our eight. So five lambda would be, what is that? Minus 38, take away number three is minus 41. Lambda is minus 41 over 5, which is definitely not the same as 3, therefore inconsistent. The values of lambda and mu that we found for the first two equations don't fit the third equation. Therefore, the lines are skew.
ask you what? Where? Ask you if they intersect. <laughs> they don't. Just this key. <laughs> ask you what? Ask you if they... I will stop the video. <laughs>